mayor. My door is always open for you. My name is Tom Peters, and I'm full of ideas. Community How are you? Hi there, uh, uh, Tom Peters. Uh, we're here. Here stands Tom Peters, awaiting counsel from the mayor. Tom is a small, feminine-looking man, not used to success. Todd, just just take a two on that. More about me being an entrepreneur. Hey, no filming in city offices without a permit, guys. It's it's okay. I'm a filmmaker. He's my wife's ex-husband. He's you know the father of my children. Okay, bullseye. Here we go. Oh, 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 Mayor's oh. office. Ah, mm, yeah. It's uh, Tom Peters. Hello, Tom. I'm sorry about that. <laughs> Just trying to pick a new name for the bridge we're building. Oh, not a problem. <laughs> Just let me get some rubbing alcohol in this. Uh, do you mind if we film in here? Tom is reduced to begging for permission from the mayor to film. What if the mayor denies him? Tom cowers in fear, waiting for an answer. Oh, a movie shoot. Well, sort of. We're, we're shooting a pilot for a, a reality-based show called Mr. Entrepreneur. Interesting. I like it. Who's your leading man? Well, the pilot features me. Um, we'll see how that goes. You know, it's just really a spec pilot for now. It's not much. Well, in that case, I better get into makeup. No, no. It uh, should just be candid, so you don't have to worry about that. Tom, once again, is caught in the lion's den. Waiting... I'm sorry. Cut, cut, cut. Uh, all right. Look, I was... Really picturing a more noir look for this uh, location. All right, can we fly in some Venetian blinds and a smoke machine? Can we get a smoke machine? Tom, you're doing fantastic. Todd, cool it. Okay, Tom, now uh, how can I help you? Or what? Oh, hey, hang on. What was that? I'll tell you what that was. It was beautiful. Okay, uh, everybody just relax. I know it's exciting uh, being on set, but... Uh, on the show, we watch uh, me go through the process of creating, selling, and, and marketing a product. Right, Tom. I like it. I like it! Oh, this is gold. <laughs> this is gold. Keep it up! Come on, the camera loves you! Tom, the camera loves this guy. Um, so I have this thing called a calcucorn. It's a... Um, a statue of unicorn, and the and the cement base has a calculator in it. Wonderful, Tom. I love your ideas. And cut. That's a take. Great work, guys. Todd, I'm not done. Ah, just keep rolling. I'm sorry about this, Mr. Mayor. Um, so phase two of the show would be that uh, we watch me produce an infomercial. So I'm going to be doing that tomorrow, and I uh, wanted to see if you'd want to be a part of it. Tom, <laughs> of course I'll be a part of it. Well, Todd, uh, looking forward to seeing uh, the first pass of the show. Todd, no, come on! Or what? Pause it, pause it, pause it right now! Or what? What do you think, Tiger? Are we in business or what? Well, uh, it's not really what I had in mind. This is fresh. This has an attitude. I think this is the way to go. Well... Would you, would you be up for some notes? You know, just try and curb some of the humorous stuff. Do you, do you need a... <laughs> oh! Yeah. Add a stylish touch to your living room or desk set. Calcucor. It's as easy to use as a calculator. Calcucor. It's light as a newborn baby. Calcucor. Calculate large numbers with the help of the world's most mythical beast. The following is a paid advertisement from Calcucorn Incorporated. Yeah, take two. We on? Um, hello, my name is Tom Peters, and I'm standing here with the mayor of Jefferson. Hi, Tom. I'm, I'm so glad to be here promoting this wonderful product with you. Well, uh, let me ask, have you gotten a chance to play around with the Calcucorn? Absolutely, Tom. Tell you what I'd love to do. Let's get some random numbers from the audience and give this sucker a test drive. Okay. <laughs> well, what do you say, audience? 759! How about another one? 487! Okay, well, uh, first thing I do is I just plug it into any wall outlet. Right. Not a problem. Uh, turn the on switch on. Of course. Take care of that. 
Now, I'm going to take the number 759. Fine. And uh, we'll hit the plus button. And after that, I'm going to put in 487. And we'll press the equal sign. Now all you do is, is pull the string in the back of the unicorn and wait for your answer. Terrific, Tom. 1,567. Can you believe that, ladies and gentlemen? It's just that easy. <laughs> it's so great. Oh, terrific. Say, Tom, I've heard that this calcucorn can do your taxes with the press of a button. Great one, man. What? Uh, no, uh, I, don't, not, I don't think so. And I also heard it can tell time. No, it's just a calculator. Come on, just stick to the cards, please. I am. Calcucorn production is underway. Tom's plan is working, but for how long? Can Tom manage to hang on to the widow's peak of success, or will he tumble like a boulder down the mountainside? A safe man's bet is for the latter. Todd, come on. Jeez, a little encouragement wouldn't hurt. Okay, let me do a quick in-camera edit here. Hey, Tom, how's the movie coming along? Okay, I guess, um... It's actually a whole heck of a load of work, though. <laughs> so, how are my calcicorns doing? Cut, cut, cut. Ah, oh, God, I hate the lighting out here. I wish I had a strobe light. Yeah, this scene needs more drama. Hold, please. Let's reset the lights. Guys, the scene is playing out great. Hold that energy. Ah, uh, sorry about that, Mayor. Yeah. Uh, the Calcicorns are doing great, actually. It uh, looks like it's going to be a really terrific first quarter. I just uh, shipped out this huge order, about 300 units. Oh, well, that was me. I ordered them for the Bridge People, Paul Child's Children's Hospital, and a baker's dozen for the city council. Oh, geez. Uh... And... Action! Oh, gee, I hope they don't bite our butts here. I, I just haven't put the corns through some of the product testing that I really wanted to. You know, they're sort of more for kids. Tom, don't worry. We featured this thing on TV. So what could possibly be wrong with it? Cut! Cut! That is, uh, that's a luncher. Okay, let me see here. Eight plus eight. Eighteen. Wait, what, what did she just say? Oh, uh, I was just fooling around with the corn. You know, I put an eight plus eight and it gave me eighteen. No, no. Well, that's what she's saying. Oh, let's... Let me crunch some numbers here. Nah, sure, it should be more around 16. Oh, that's not good. It's, gi it's giving you 18? No, nah, don't worry about it, Tom. I'm sure people are just using these things for guesstimates. That's it, fellas. Line her up to, uh... 77. 77 degrees. You're on. Go. We're on the air. Go. Speak. This just in. The still unnamed Jefferson Bridge is suffering one of the biggest bridging disasters in recent memory. Construction firm Parcel Powell and Moylan miscalculated Moylan miscal on a tremendous number, number of structural elements. Spokesperson from the firm blames entrepreneur Tom Peters' brand new engineering device called the Galcucorn for the mistakes. We're, We're also getting word. word that our very own Channel 5 News technical team has been affected by the Calcicorn, <laughs> which may explain why we've been having some technical problems during tonight's broadcast. But Jan, you look terrific. Will you stop? We're on television. <laughs> I owe you a romantic weekend. <laughs> Let's go live to Gulliver's, where, where Tom, Tom Peters, Peters is testifying, testifying before, before City Council, Council as we speak. Tom stands before the city council. His harebrained product has ruined literally thousands of people's lives. A bridge connects to thin air. A doctor murders a patient. How will Tom explain himself? Uh, <clears throat> um, can, can we, <clears throat> can we, <clears throat> can we proceed here, please? Uh, yes, sir. Now then, Mr. Peters, uh, if I could just... Do you want to go ahead, please, and explain uh, why there are no procedures set up to prevent these errors uh, that apparently are in your calcucorn? Oh, now that's a good question. Tom must pay the piper. Oh, I'd love to do this as a crane shot. Hey, is there any way we can get a crane in here? Maybe a jib arm. Maybe a Hennessy Crickets! 420. Todd! Would you please stop filming for a second? Get the camera out of my face! I'm so sorry, city council. I'm sorry I'm yelling. You are ruining my life with your stupid TV show. I want you out of my house. I have no idea why this thing doesn't work. I don't know how calculators work. For Pete's sake, this was just meant for children. Not bridges or anything like that. Maybe it was a glue. I'm so sorry I'm yelling, Mr. City Councilman. I can't stop. Sha, 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 Thomas. Shh, shh, settle, 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 settle. I think I have a solution for both your problems. <laughs> Thank you. 
Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the opening of the Tom Peters Memorial What the Heck Bridge. This hilarious non-working bridge features 10 shows a day. Now, let's watch the amazing diving unicorn do his show. The continuing journey of Mr. Entrepreneur. Will he dive headfirst into the next business venture? Or will the pressure of success leave him drowning in the deep end? Okay. Here I go. Ah! Anyone? Anyone up there? Todd? Come on. This suit is making me sink. It's the only issue I have with it right now. And so, in the end, Tom Peters, marketing genius, reinventor, proved to be ahead of his time. Bravo, Todd. What a great movie. Uh, I actually have um, a lot of problems with it. Would you please uh, shut your mouth, you son of a bitch? To recapitalize on its true essence, Tom Peters is Mr. Entrepreneur. <laughs> Cut, 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 cut.